Hey Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. Mm. This is sorry, I had to have a couple, a sip of my macchiato. This is a general reading, love, money, career for the period beginning the 30th of November. Because it is a general reading, may not resonate with all of you. Okay, so you might want to take a look at the forecast for your moon sign or for your rising sign. Okay? All right. So let's get started. If this is your first visit, know that I channel messages from my spirit guides, and I've been getting some of yours in for some of you who are guided to these videos. They have been hysterical. These are pushy spirits. Thanks. These are pushy spirits. I just want you to know. Very, very interesting. They will do whatever they need to do to me because they want to get their message across. So they're loud. They smoke. They drink. They show me scenes that I can't unsee. They sing to me. All right. A couple more shuffles. All right, somebody show me a sec, uh, S-E-X scene, by the way. <sighs> Thankfully, the people that are doing it are in their 20s, so they still are body beautiful. Oh, okay, here comes another spirit showing me another sex scene of somebody who's not in their 20s. Thank you very much, spirit. I really appreciate that. I can't see and see that stuff. All right. So... For Virgo, for the period beginning, the 30th of November, let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords. We have a lot of spirit activity in here right now. We have the Nine of Swords. Ace of, okay, here. Here's your phallic symbol. Here's our sex scene, by the way. Okay. The Fool. Nine of Cups. Six of Coins. Okay. Mmm. All right. Let's start over here. Beginning of the period. We're right before. Um, no, this is not about um, Fifty Shades of Grey. This, this is feeling trapped. A lot of anxiety. Um... 3 a.m. wake up call, you know, you can't sleep, you worried, you worried, you worried. Um, I'm getting the flavor that most of you, are, most of you that are worried are worried about money, um, money career, or how you're going to pay your bills. Uh, I see the Knight of Swords. This is about roller coaster drama. So there's a lot of drama going on that's causing you a, quite a bit of anxiety. Uh, this drama does not seem to be of your making. Someone, it's an external kind of drama. So it's either uh, work-related, work money for, for a good part of you. Okay, so I'm getting message from Spirit that for some of you, it is drama in the family and or extended family uh, in the relationship sector. Uh, all right, somebody has, has a gas lighter. So I'm sorry about that. What Spirit is asking you to do is to try to remove yourself from the drama this week. Because if you do, pff, I'm going to get to this. This is amazing. You'll have an amazing week. I mean, you really amazing period that really might actually even change your perception, which will change your life and your world. So how do you detach from the drama? I mean, you can Google tons of different ways to do it. But I mean, for Pete's sake, go to the park, wear your mask, close your eyes, breathe in and out of your nose into your mask and just give your monkey mind that internal voice that won't shut up and is giving you that stomach issue, all those digestive issues, the stomach ache and the, and the um, elimination issues, constipation, diarrhea that I'm getting from somebody, one of your guides. If you go there, breathe slowly in and out of your nose, into the mask and just focus on feeling the air going in your nostrils and out of your nostrils into the mask. I ask you to wear the mask because it's easier to feel that. You're giving your monkey mind a job. And then it will allow you to 
help reduce the stress, reduce the anxiety. Because if you do, boom, oh my gosh, new beginnings, especially entrepreneur, especially with um, people that are going and doing their own business. New beginnings are coming. For those of you in relationships, especially new relationships, we see lots of nookie this week. Lots of, you know what, I want to keep this as clean as possible without getting tagged by YouTube, but lots of fun in that one room in the house that's not the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, or the bathroom, okay? We also see new beginnings here. So we have these new beginnings back to back here. We have the fool, new beginnings, new journeys, new relationships. If you're looking for love, this is the week to throw out your feelers on what it is you want. Write a list. Make it all positive. Okay, what is it that you want? This is also about new work opportunities. Same idea. Write a list. What kind of job do you want? Where do you want it located? What is the team like? What are you going to be doing? Write your list. This is your homework. Oh, I see some, somebody's just telling me that somebody's moving for a new job. Congratulations. Okay, this is the wish come true card. O-M-G. It doesn't get better than this, Virgo. Somebody's telling me, one of the spirits is telling me to get your head out of your behind. It's time. Let go of the nonsense and the BS. Time to move forward. Do your homework. Wear the mask in the, th in the park or wherever quiet is. No noise. No phone. Breathe in and out. Relax. You can do this. Okay. And there, somebody's pushing me to tell you, you must do this this week. This will help you in the long run. This is about money coming, by the way. So let's see, let's recap here. New beginnings, new beginnings, new relationships, lots of SEX. We've got also new job opportunities, money coming, wishes come true. Do you think this is going to be a good week, Virgo? If you don't, Go look at everybody else's readings for every other zodiac. They're not like this. Let's see what else we... Oh, my God. And we have the magician. This is all about manifesting, creating. What do you want? Wishes come true. What do you want? Hello. Wake up. Wake up, Virgo. I'm screaming now, practically, kind of, sort of. Well, not for, not for me, but yeah. All right, let's take a look for a second. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at what the ancients, uh, the um, Ascended Master card that Spirit had, had flew out of the deck. Vishnu, gosh, it's about trust. Trust that Spirit has your back. Trust that you have the opportunity to move forward in a big way. This is the beginning for you. But you have homework. You got to get rid of the drama in your life. You got to get rid of the anxiety. Some of the anxiety, I mean, how do I phrase this to be? Okay, they're, they're saying don't be, just don't sugarcoat it. You may not be creating the drama, but you are internalizing the BS and you're blowing it up and it's affecting your ability to move forward. It's, I'm again, seeing stomach issues with people. I'm seeing the tightness in the chest, can't sleep, up all night. What am I going to do? Once you, once you try to, once you start getting rid of that, everything opens up for you. It's time. Oh, okay. So let me share with you a quick example of what happens when you change your perception. When something go, doesn't go the way I think it's supposed to go. This is what I say. I'm sure something amazing will come of this. More wondrous than I can possibly imagine. So I look up to the sky and I say, hey guys, it's on you now. Take it and do what you will. Your, my guys could be a hundred guides. You could be father, son, I don't care what, who your higher power is, who you talk to that's not of this physical plane. God, whatever your version of God is. Hey, it's on you. But what I walk away with is, I am not going to have any negative emotion about where I'm at right now because then I'm just bringing in more of that negative. I am only thinking about the positive. I hope you understand where I'm going with this. All right. So Virgo, we love you. We want you to be happy. 
darn, this is a good reading, and I'm really happy for you. Have a wonderful week.